everybody. Nice to be with you. And uh, we're continuing today talking about the presence of God with us. And today I'm looking at going where God's presence leads. So I thought it'd be really good to start with game. And that game is follow my leader. So what you need to do is have everyone choose a leader and everyone else follows them in a line behind copying exactly everything that they do. And if you don't copy it fast enough, if you're the last one, or if you don't do it at all, then you come out. Unless you're playing with toddlers, in which case just leave everybody in and have an adult leading all the different things. It's just fun to do things together like that. Um, so you can think of a whole load of things that you might want to do. You might want to hop, skip, jump. You might want to walk backwards some steps, walk forwards sideways, turn about and all the rest of it. So you can make up that thing and just practice what it's like to actually follow my leader because all of this thing today is about following God's lead. So it'll just remind us. Um, he wants us to follow him. He's got a good place to lead us to, even if we don't know quite what it looks like. And you will remember a story of God taking the people of God who were slaves in Egypt on a big journey across the desert, taking them to a land that he was going to give them that was a free land. And he called it the land of milk and honey because it was a sweet place to be compared to where they'd been before. And he took them on a big journey to try and get out of their heads that sort of what it was a bit like being a slave and all the things you thought of as being a slave. And he took them on this big journey and it took 40 years to get them out of that grumbling mindset of a slave, out of that bound up mindset of a slave, out of that trying to preserve yourself thing all the time and not trust anyone mindset. And the thing that he particularly had to get out of was all the moaning and groaning and complaining that they did for most of those 40 years. Oh dear. So you can imagine a child of seven started the journey and ended up the journey aged 47. Can you just imagine it took all that time for them to be in the right place with God to become a worshipful, trust, trusting people to be able to inhabit the land and change that land um, into a place where God could be seen by others around, etc. So the deserts don't have much food or water, do they? They don't have any comforts at all like we have. They don't have sofas in the deserts or TVs or screens or games in the same way. So they didn't have beds or toys, certainly didn't have phones. So it was a time where they really had to strip back and kind of trust God not to let them die in the desert because it was a place where you could easily do that. But God showed them his love and care every day of that 40 years. He gave them water one time. They were thirsty and there was no water around. And he struck a big rock. Well, he got Moses to strike the rock. And water came out for all the people to drink. Um, so he did the miracles like that. He rained down meat upon them. Well, rained meat into their camp once. But he rained down manna, this sort of bread-like substance that they would have um, each day. And he gave them food every day just from his own his own hands and they could see that he never let them um, suffer or die in the desert he always provided what they needed and eventually they began to trust him but it took a lot and it took a lot of moaning that they had to stop so that moaning broke God's heart and he was near the end of the journey he was so close to the promised land but he said to their leader Moses you can go on the rest of the way with the people by yourself because they're just driving me I'm just going to, I know that I'm just going to destroy them if I keep hearing them all the time. They're so stubborn. They're so rebellious. Keep digging their heels in and they won't let me lead them and take them. So I'm, I'm just at the end of myself. I'm going to send you in with an angel to the new land and I'm just not going to come. And Moses said, no, 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 God, don't do that. Don't do that. We can't go without your presence. And God loved Moses' heart so much. That he decided that he would go with them into the promised land as Moses had asked and um, and many many years later when Jesus lived on the earth he said we should follow him in the same way as God wanted the people to follow him in the desert Jesus said follow me because I am the light I know the way to go and I am the way the truth and the life for you 
And we have the same choice that those people had when they were walking in the desert with God because we can follow him and we can copy what he does. Um, and even if we don't get it right, he will take us to that new place. He will take us to that on that journey into his promised land and we will show his life to other people around us. But we can be thankful for so many blessings he gives us as well as he protects us and provides for us all the time. But one thing I want to ask us never to do, guess what it is? Let's not moan. And the thing that's really good to stop moaning is being thankful. So maybe it's good to have a bit of time of all the things that we can begin to think about that we can be thankful for. But this is what Jesus said about himself. I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in the darkness, but will have the light of life. And he said, I am the way, the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. So it's really important that we walk and follow our leader, Jesus. It's really important that we don't moan and we stay thankful and we trust him to lead us to good places because he has good plans for us. So I'm just going to finish with a short prayer and I'm going to leave you to get on and play that game a bit more, follow my leader. So here's my final prayer. Thank you, Jesus, that you are the light and you are the way and you lead us all on our journey of life caring for us as we go. Help us to follow you and be thankful for all that you are and all that you do for us. Keep us from moaning along the way and keep us in your truth. Thank you that your plans for us are always good. And we all said, Amen. Okay, I'll leave you to play. See you next time. Lots of love. Bye.